Welcome to the Goulet Pens Fountain Pen 101 series, where you can get all the basics down for learning about how to use fountain pens. I am Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and in part one, I covered what fountain pens are, part two was about how fountain pens work and their basic parts, and this video is part three, where I'll be showing you how to clean and maintain your fountain pens for optimal performance. Now, when I talk about cleaning a fountain pen, the basic idea is that you're flushing out whatever ink is in the pen using clean water until all the ink is removed. The style and the design of the pen may dictate the specific methods for how you do this, but essentially you're just repeating the same process as you would to fill your pen with ink except you'll be filling and flushing the pen with clean water instead. Now, if you've only ever used ballpoint and rollerball pens before, the concept of cleaning a pen may be a bit unfamiliar and maybe even intimidating to you. But I promise it's not that scary. There are just a few basics to understand and then you'll be up to speed. Fountain pens can differ in their design, but in terms of the cleaning principles, they'll all work pretty similarly. The reason this cleaning process is so important is that it's important to maintain the proper flow of the ink through the pen and ensure that the pen and the ink perform as expected. It generally will only take a couple of minutes to do this and it's time well spent. Now I'll make a disclaimer here that fountain pens are designed to be used with water-based fountain pen ink, not calligraphy ink, India ink, acrylic or shellac based ink of any kind, like what is often found at arts and crafts stores. These types of inks are made for dip pens that are too thick to flow through a fountain pen. If you fill a fountain pen with ink made for dip pens, they'll clog up and you will likely ruin the pen entirely. It's the equivalent of pouring glue into a car engine instead of using oil. So stick to fountain pen ink only. So let's talk about when you should clean your fountain pens. When you first get a pen, it's a good idea to just flush it a couple of times with clean water before you ink it up. This is something most manufacturers recommend because there could be leftover oils or residue from the manufacturing process that you just want to rule out as a factor in case there were to be any flow issues with your new pen. Now, many manufacturers do this themselves already, but it's a good practice to just go ahead and do it with all of your new pens. It's definitely a good idea to clean your pen when you're changing ink colors. Not only might the colors kind of mix together and look vastly different than intended, but some inks don't mix well with each other. And you wanna make sure that whatever ink that you last used is completely out of your pen before inking up with something new. It's like if you're using a sealed travel mug for coffee and you don't wash it out before putting tea or water in it. Ugh. Now if your pen's not been used consistently or it's just sitting around for a while, the ink may start to sort of dry up in the pen. Fountain pen ink is primarily made of water, which can evaporate over time, though some pens are designed to keep from drying out better than others. Pretty much if your pen hasn't been used in a while and it feels like it's out of ink or it's writing really dry or skipping while you write, it could just be that it was sitting around a bit too long and could benefit from a cleaning. Or you could also try dipping the nib of the pen back into the bottle of ink or maybe into a cup of water to kind of get it saturated again. A good rule of thumb for how often to clean a pen is once a month, unless you change colors or you have some performance issue, in which case you'd clean it whenever you have that issue. If the performance of your pen has changed, like you're getting skipping, having hard starts, or you feel like you're having to press down really hard to get ink to come out, all of these are signs that a cleaning might be in order. Cleaning is always a good step to take when you're troubleshooting a fountain pen's writing performance. Just like if you have an electronic device that's acting buggy, it's always good to try rebooting it first, right? So cleaning a fountain pen is essentially like rebooting it. You'll flush out any dried ink or blockages that may have developed over time, and you'll get that ink flowing again as it was originally intended. While most fountain pens can be cleaned in a pretty self-contained manner, there are a few basic tools that you probably already have at your disposal that I think you'll find helpful. Let's start out with clean water. So pen manufacturers recommend using distilled water for cleaning your pens because it has the fewest minerals and contaminants, and that's always a safe bet. However, if you don't have access to distilled water, using bottled or filtered water is often just fine. Use your own judgment about using tap water because water quality varies based on your locality. Just keep in mind that the most important thing is just to clean your pens at all. So use the cleanest water that you have access to using any quality of water is still better than not cleaning your pens. One or two water cups for flushing is helpful. I find cups in the four to 12 ounce size is good, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and then having access near a sink is good too. Any cups will do, but just keep in mind, you might stain the cups with ink. So dedicating a cup to ink flushing or using disposable cups is usually the best. Absorbent towels. Paper towels or napkins are good, or you can use reusable microfiber or terry cloth towels. All right, so now that you have the basic cleaning setup, let's talk about how you actually clean your pens. 
One method that many newer people to fountain pens may try or see others doing is rinsing the nib under running water or maybe dipping it into a cup of water. This is sort of like the equivalent of going for a walk in the rain instead of taking a shower. Yeah, you might be getting your pen wet here, but you're not really cleaning it out. So first I'll give you a quick rundown of the basic pen cleaning steps. Then we'll go into more detail so that you can reference it if you want some time-saving pro tips, hacks, and methods specific to different filling mechanisms. But first let's cover the most basic steps universal to cleaning pretty much every fountain pen. Expel the excess ink from the pen, either back into the bottle of ink or down your sink drain. You basically just wanna start with an empty pen. Fill and flush your pen with clean water repeatedly until there's no trace of ink. For most pens, this might take 20 or more fill and flush cycles, but it'll vary from pen to pen. If you're changing ink colors, you wanna be really thorough and remove all the old color. But if you're inking back up with the same color, you can probably save yourself a little effort and just flush it enough to get the bulk of the old ink out of there. Soak up excess water with a cloth through the nib so you don't have a lot of water in the feed. If you have a few drips of ink left in the pen, don't sweat it, especially if you're gonna be inking the pen right back up. And honestly, that's pretty much the process. If this is all you do, you'll be in good shape for about 90% of your pen maintenance. You may be wondering at this point how thoroughly you need to dry your pen after cleaning. Honestly, you don't really have to think too much about it if you're gonna be inking the pen back up soon since it's mostly water that's left in there. Any small droplets in the pen will just mix back in with the new ink and you really won't even be able to tell. If you know that you're not gonna be using the pen for a while and you wanna store it away, then maybe leave the pen uncapped, sitting out overnight so it can dry out before you store it. All that said, let's get a little more into the nuance. And if you're new to fountain pens, this is where it might be helpful to save this video and reference back to it when it comes time to clean your pens. So here are some pro tips for cleaning your fountain pens, especially with some more specialized tools and techniques. If you use ink with special characteristics, such as shimmering, sheening, or pigmented ink, thorough cleaning requires some extra steps. Some ink may have a heavy sheen that likes to stick to parts of the pen, which is more visually distracting than actually obstructive to the function of the pen, and it might need some more attention to fully remove. And if you have ink of any type that's dried out in the pen, it can clog up the flow and make it hard to clean out or disassemble. Any of these scenarios may warrant additional cleaning steps like I'm about to mention here. So now I'm gonna talk about some of the tools that you can get for these advanced techniques. You might already have some of these around the house, but some of them are a little more specialized to pen cleaning. And we have those available at gulepens.com individually and in some specialized sets. You may have a bulb syringe around your home already. They are inexpensive and very handy for cleaning. For cartridge converter pens, it's a total game changer as you can just plug the bulb syringe onto the back of the grip and flush clean water straight through the pen in what would probably take 50 or more fill flush cycles using a converter. And if you like to use just cartridges and you don't have a converter for your cartridge pen, you might need to get a converter just for cleaning it out or you can alternatively use the bulb syringe. You can always use this bulb syringe on some piston and vacuum filling pens, maybe some other types if you can disassemble the mechanisms. That's a bit more advanced than I wanted to cover in the 101 video, but I at least wanted to mention that it is possible. An ink syringe has a blunt tipped needle and it can be helpful in specific circumstances when you're cleaning out ink cartridges that you'd like to refill, or if you wanted to flush out a converter or maybe a pen body where a bulb syringe is too large to fit. Dish soap is a pretty safe and helpful cleaning agent to add to your cleaning regimen, particularly for when you've maybe waited just a bit too long to clean and your ink isn't flowing so well anymore. It's not gonna be the most aggressive cleaning agent, so it does have its limitations. But just putting a few drops of that soap into your cup of water and flushing your pen with it, it can help clean out some more stubborn ink. You'll still wanna flush your pen out with water first to get the bulk of the ink out, then use the water with the dish soap and then flush it again with clean water as a last step to get all that soap out. Pen flush is a proprietary mixture of an ink cleaning solution that's slightly more aggressive than dish soap. This is handy for really stubborn and crusty ink, especially if it's completely dried up in your pen. Or maybe you have an ink with some pigment sheen or some other unique characteristic that makes it wanna stick around. Just like the dish soap, you'll wanna flush it with clean water both before and after using a pen flush. Toothbrushes can actually be helpful when a physical scrubbing is needed, particularly with shimmering and high sheening inks that like to stick to your feed. This usually requires some level of disassembly. So you'll need to make sure that you're comfortable enough removing your nib and your feed on your particular pens and then putting them back. But even if you don't wanna take it all apart, a toothbrush can still be used and be helpful in the visible parts of the feed. 
Cotton swabs are also helpful to have around for scrubbing certain parts of a pen, particularly inside the cap, maybe inside some pen barrels where a toothbrush can't reach. It's also handy for helping soak up some excess water in and on the pen after you've cleaned it. Polishing cloths or jeweler's cloths can be helpful when getting small scratches out of metal pen parts like your nib or the trim, and it might even help shine up certain pen body materials too. Silicone grease is a material that's used to help lubricate certain moving parts of your pen, like piston seals or maybe even the cap threads. While you won't have to use this for a while with new pens, over time it's something that can help keep your pen parts moving smoothly. So far, I've covered pen cleaning pretty well, but I did wanna mention a little bit about pen storage before we wrap up here. When using an inked fountain pen, there's no specific orientation that a pen has to be stored, though you may find your own personal preferences here. Some wetter writing pens might do better if stored with the nib towards the sky, like when it's in a pen cup or in a pen stand, but some pens might have a harder time starting if stored like this regularly, since gravity keeps the ink away from the nib. If you store a pen with its nib pointed down towards the ground, Gravity will keep that ink in contact with the back of the feed and the nib, which helps it with some pens that might write a little drier. There's somewhat of a downside to storing them this way though, because the clips will take up more room in a pen cup or it may not fit in a pen stand at all. That's a pretty safe bet for most fountain pens to store them laying down horizontally, as the ink inside will keep more in contact with the feed like when you store it nib down. Just experiment with how you like to keep your pens oriented and see if it makes any difference for you for the pens that you have inked up and ready to go. There's no strict rule here, just do what's most practical for you. Now, something helpful to note is that fountain pens are made to last for many years, even decades. So there are some aspects of their care that matter that you probably haven't considered with using roller balls and ballpoints, especially disposable ones. So here are a few use and care tips that help you to get the most life out of your pens. Don't carry your pens in your pants pocket with hard objects like keys that could scratch your pens. Since fountain pen ink is mostly water, try to avoid storing your pens in extreme cold or extreme heat. Direct sunlight over prolonged periods of time can cause the dyes in your ink to fade, or it could fade some of the color from your pen materials. When carrying your pens, especially particularly expensive or special ones, you may want to invest in some pen sleeves or pen cases. These can vary a lot in style and can hold single pens or your entire collection. It all depends on what best meets your needs. Well, I think that should about do it for this video, wouldn't you say? While cleaning and maintaining is not maybe the most thrilling aspect of the fountain pen hobby, I will say that it's something that you'll appreciate more and more over time as you use your pens. Hopefully this video has helped you to get on the right path. And if there's anything that I haven't covered for you here, just ask it in the comments or reach out to the Goulet Pens team and we will help you out. You can check out a lot of supplies that I mentioned here today on GouletPens.com. And be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube, especially in our Fountain Pen 101 series. Thank you so much for watching and right on.